Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah, if you're new here. I am out at our farmhouse today and it is a very strange day for me. Our babysitter, Emily, she is a college student and she had a few weeks before of her winter break before she started back to school that she was just really available. So I have taken advantage of that and I've been using her a lot to just get ahead on house projects, on work projects, and on homeschool a little. Um, but I'll really get back to my regular schedule. I think I have one week left of her extra help. So today, what, the reason it's odd is I have her kind of running the house at home and doing homeschool with the little ones, everything I laid out for her. And I'm out here at our farmhouse cleaning up. I have some projects to do. So I thought I'd bring you along with me. I got a Christmas tree that needs to come down. <laughs> and I just have some cleaning. When we were out here for Christmas, we stayed out here for two weeks, all of us. We were sick almost the entire time. So at the very end, I really cleaned, cleaned, cleaned as much as I could. I did almost all of it. Judah took care of some of the stuff that I didn't get to later. But... The Christmas stuff didn't come down, and then a few days ago we were here and got some spots on the carpet. Solo went up the stairs with mud on his shoes. We didn't realize. Um, it was just, it was a freak accident. <laughs> so I got some muddy stairs I need to take care of. We're gonna just get some stuff done. Just take you along on that. Now I've got a lot of laundry to fold too because we've been taking our laundry to the other house because this machine broke here, so. I have a lot of things to do. I'm thankful that Emily is around. When she gets back to her regular schedule, I'll have her just uh, two days, I think. Maybe a total of six hours only, so not nearly as much, but enough for me to get my work done, or at least a good, good part of it. Or maybe it's nine hours she's giving me. I'm not sure, but it's not nearly as much as I've got right now. So I'm taking advantage of this time. Let me show you what's going on. Okay, I don't know how well you can see this, but we have some really light carpet, but there are muddy footsteps going up here. And they go all the way up. So we're gonna try to take care of those. And I wanna say one huge thanks to Hoover Clean Slate for sponsoring today's video. They just happened to sponsor us at the same time we've got muddy stairs. So it worked out really, really well. I'm gonna tackle this carpet cleaning problem first. Here's the machine, it's nice and Portable. You can just hold it like that. We have some good spot cleaner that's good for pets too, which is great because I have a couple of other areas I might try it on. And it also has, has this great brush here to scrub with. It is very, very simple. And then you can also switch it out for this hard for hard to reach corners and stuff. So I'm gonna fill it up with some water and solution and give it a try. There's nothing quite so satisfying as watching mud come out of carpet, right? I do love how very simple and user-friendly this thing is. So you pull off this side here. It tells you for a small area, we're going to put in water to the line and then add half an ounce of the concentrated cleaning solution. There's a line right there. And then it shows for a larger area up here. So I just open this cap, fill it with water first, and then my cleaning solution. I love products that are pretty fail-proof because Sometimes my focus is not awesome, especially when I got a lot going on at once, which is my life. Even the cap had a measurement on it. Very helpful. Pop that back in. Back here is our cord all wrapped up nicely. And by the way, this hose, when I'm not using it, it wraps around really neatly too, and it does not take up much space in a closet. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. It's gonna get a little loud, but I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull this trigger. It sprays the solution. Then I'll use this part to scrub it until it gets bubbly, and then I'll use the top end to suction it up. So that's the gist of it. I have a feeling these stairs are a lot dirtier than I even thought. <laughs> That quick and easy and it looks amazing. These stairs were actually much dirtier than I thought they were. <laughs> it's sometimes hard to tell on camera, but it looks so much better. In fact, I'm gonna do a lot more of the stairs. Can you believe I'm, I found myself wearing my own shoes? <laughs> I'm just making more problem. I'm taking my shoes off right now, but I did check. They were not muddy, but I don't know what I was even thinking. 
Okay, that was so quick and easy. This is particularly good for pet stains too. So I tried it on an old stain that we had found that Nessa left us. I will say when I went back through on the stairs, there was some mud on the underside too. And I was able to get that so well with the little attachment, which is extremely helpful. It's awesome. If you've been looking to get a carpet cleaner, I encourage you to check this one out. They have some great deals going on right now. I am going to move on to laundry. Are you gonna help me? Gotta get this stuff folded up. Put it away. All right, get out of here. Go, go, go. Get out of my laundry. I was going to bring a couple of my older kids with me today just to hang out with them. Maybe they could help me out too out here, but they were so busy. My middle kids had piano lessons. My older kids, they're all working today, and so it just didn't work out. So here I am doing this alone, which I, I don't normally fold everybody's laundry alone and put it all away. I did want to tell you a funny story about Hoover though. We used to live in a neighborhood that was like a compound really because we lived in a house and my parents were down one side of our street and then my grandparents had a house down the other side of the street and my aunt had a house across the street from us. So. It was so fun. I, I just loved those times when we all lived right there together. It was the house before the house we currently live in. Eventually, my parents ended up moving to Florida. My grandpa died and my grandma moved into a, a retirement center. And then my Aunt Sharon moved to Florida, but she still has her house. And she comes home all the summers with her husband now. So, But we used to just have so much fun. My kids would run to their grandparents' house or their great-grandparents' house. My mom would read some of the school books to my kids. My grandma would read school books to my kids. It was really like the old way of living, I feel like. I miss it a lot. I wish we still had that in so many regards. And, and I would love it if some of our big kids chose to live on our property as they get older and move out and have their own families. That would be like the dream for me, I think, and solo. We would love that, just to have a big compound full of family. Anyway, I wanted to tell you a story, funny story about Hoover. My grandpa, we would always tease him because soon after they moved into their house in that compound area, they had a sales lady come to their house selling Hoover vacuums and my grandpa was talked into it and my grandma was just couldn't believe that he got talked into that while she was gone running errands or whatever and he had bought this vacuum this Hoover vacuum and it was it was just a beast we always laughed at him like oh he got talked into it by the nice sales lady and it was just kind of a running joke in our family but we lived down the street from them and our vacuum was always going out and guess what we did? Even my parents, we would all hike to their house and borrow the Hoover. The Hoover was just always dependable. It never had a problem. So it was really reliable. So when Hoover reached out to work with us, we were like, oh yeah, we know the name Hoover well and we love it. <laughs> Very trustworthy brand for us and our family. And I will never not think about my grandpa when I think about Hoover vacuums. <laughs> we only keep two to three outfits each out here, plus two to three pajamas for the kids and some church clothes. So it never takes that long to fold it all and put it away. But it also, we can't fall behind on it. Not an option. Next, I have a tree storage bag. So I'm gonna attempt to get this nine foot Christmas tree in it. Never done this before, and we bought a store model, so it didn't come with a box. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> let's see how this goes. I'm actually not even the one who set up the tree. Solo did, so hopefully I take it down right. It's very big. That's a good sign. All right, that wasn't cute. It was easier though than I thought it could be, fitting it in. There's a lot of extra room. So I'm not sure if this is a good idea or not. I've never used a Christmas tree bag, but I have a few extra items here like stockings, Christmas books, kids books, and a rug, basically that's it. <laughs> and one game. I think I'm gonna stick those in. I have a lot of room here. And yes, I'm out of breath. It's terrible. I need to get in better shape. I should have brought Eli with me. He would have helped me out a lot here. But there's plenty of room to get those little things in here, I think. I'll find out next year if that was a bad idea, or you guys will tell me. Oh, and I found this on clearance at the end, so 
the bag too after Christmas. So I'll use this next year. This year we just used a blanket around the bottom of the tree, but this is one of those, you know, bottom of the tree things. So I better get this in. <laughs> bottom of the tree thing. What do you call it? Skirts. Kind of a skirt thing. Okay, this might be a bad idea. A little rug. A few more books. Okay, this is it. This is the end of the Christmas stuff at this house. If I basically have it all in one bag, that would be amazing for storing and finding to pull out next year. And this bag cannot be missed. It's huge and red. I feel like I could totally get this thing back in here. Awesome! That's pretty cool! All of Christmas! Can I lift it? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna save that for Judah or Solo. <laughs> Boy, you guys should have told me about Christmas tree bags a long time ago. <laughs> they are really cool! I don't know where we're gonna store it, but we'll find space. <sighs> I'm out of breath, but I'm so glad it's all in there. Everything else is just trash I need to get rid of. Man, I feel like I've accomplished some real stuff today. <laughs> I did it really fast. It was a strange day being out here all by myself, but I got a lot done, so thankful for Emily's help today. <laughs> what do you think, Nessa? If I'm making a mistake putting all that extra stuff in there, I'm sure you guys will tell me. You always tell me when I'm making mistakes. <laughs> And I appreciate it. I am not mad about it. I'm going to throw away all the trash I got left here. Deal with, oh, there's the tree stand. I guess that needs to go in there. But look at all that room. There's so much room still. Okay, that tree bag might be the best $7 I ever spent. I am cleaning out the spot cleaner real quick. It's actually so easy to just clean out, but man, that water was nasty. I got a lot of, a lot of dirt out, I guess. Pretty satisfying feeling. Pop it right back in. I'm gonna leave the solution in here now because I'm gonna give Judah a couple spots to work on himself down in his area. Okay, cleaned up. Looks nice in here with that big old hole where a tree used to be. Besides the big bag and the sheets I need to put on beds. I do wanna tell you a story about this couch. I have mentioned that there is a story behind it and I had just haven't taken the time to tell you guys. It's kind of funny. When we moved in this house, we have this exact couch. It's not the exact one, but we have the same couch that we bought after years of searching for our other house. Fast forward a while, we bought this farmhouse and we realized we're going to be building a house. One of the hard things in our house, our biggest complaint I would say, is that our dining area and living area is not big enough. We are always tripping over each other. The couch is great, it's really big as you can see, but we are always out of couch space. When we watch stuff together on TV, or we sit around in that room with company, always many people on the floor, just with our own family. So the floor's not bad or anything, but it would be nice to have more couch space, but there's no way. There's no way in our other house could we ever fit more seating without it just making it harder to walk around. So we knew that when we are building a new house, we don't want a bunch of living rooms or anything. We want one great room, like one huge room that is plenty big enough for all the furniture that we could just sit around comfortably and just feel a lot more comfortable when we have guests and have the guests feel more comfortable, all of that. We have company all the time and just wanted huge living space. So since we love our couch so much, we thought it would be awesome to get the other side of the L. This is an L-shaped couch. It is amazing. That, uh, that corner right there is the most comfortable. Everybody fights over it. <laughs> we love the couch. So we went back to the store to get another couch and just use it in this house, this farmhouse. Um, the couches we had were pretty much falling apart and we had gotten them used anyway and they just, they were no good. Plus it just wasn't seating enough people here. So we thought, well, we'll use it here. And then when we move into our other house, we'll have two L's that kind of meet up around a fireplace or whatever. You know, that sounds great, right? <laughs> we go back into the store. It was, because of inflation, it was so much more money. We probably went in that store three times and kept checking and the price kept going up. And we would ask like, when's the next sale? And we'd go back at the next sale and it wasn't good enough. <laughs> So finally at Black Friday, we went in and we're like, we just, if we're gonna do it, we're just, we have to do it now because the price is not 
coming down. One of the employees told us, well, maybe, you know, it could burst eventually and we'll have too much of it, but we don't want to lose out on the couch we love either and have them stop making it. So we finally <laughs> pulled the trigger on the Black Friday sale. It was the best sale we'd seen in that whole year we'd been going in over and over. It was painful, but we finally did it. It was not even close to the price we paid for the first one, but it, it was what it was. It was worth it. We do love the couch. And by the way, it's still a lot cheaper than the, a lot of them I see online. So I was like, okay, everything else has gone up to in this world. Let's just do it. So we did it. We got it delivered weeks later, right before Christmas. And we were setting up a little living room with our other couches down in our storage area where I showed you our pantry. And the day that we got the couch, Solo went and picked it up and all that, and because we didn't want to pay delivery fees, we're just like trying to make this as cheap as possible. We get it here, and I come up the stairs where they're setting it up, and I'm like, it's the wrong side. <laughs> we had made sure that it was the right side, like over and over. And so we call, and sure enough, that employee that sold us that couch doesn't work there anymore, but they're like, okay, you guys can just use the couch, and in three or four weeks, we'll have a new one. We'll deliver it for you. We'll take the other one out. Just use it since you already have it. So it's on this side of the room, but the, that's the same as our other house. So we can't have the two same sides. It wouldn't work in the new house, right? Uh, so we have it on this side, but when we get the other one, it will be on the other side. Now, the funny part about it is we didn't tell them. We have 11 children. We, for two weeks, we were all in this house, sick, laying all over the couch. I mean, they said, go ahead and use it, but we were freaking out about everything. Like, don't get any food near the couch. Nessa, don't scratch it on the couch. Don't st don't get up on the couch. Like, it has been the most stressful couch <laughs> experience ever because we know it's not ours. Our other one gets beat up all the time and I actually like how it looks when it's more beat up. But yeah, this has been a stressful experience. I'm like, can these people please come take this couch out of here? The last thing I want is for them to come and say, Oh, you guys have beat it up way too much. <laughs> We're not taking it, which I don't think they would because it was their mistake, but oh, we need this couch out of here. Sol and I are just like crazy people with this couch <laughs> in this house that really is not ours in the end. So that's the couch story. It's been something. It's been something. Kids bring their water bottles to the couch, which we allow at our other house. And of course it leaks at this house, like everything that could go wrong would would go wrong could go wrong and we noticed when it came that it did have a little tear in this corner piece i don't know if they're going to try to give us a, a new corner or not i don't think solo's even had the chance to call and tell him but that came with it we took a picture right away but yeah <sighs> the couch saga hopefully that ends soon all right i'm gonna head back to my other house i miss my kids i want to be with them homeschooling today i want to spend some time doing that but boy, I'm glad I got a lot done here. Oh, a Christmas decoration. Isn't this cute? This is like a wall thing, but Belle found it and said, hey, this, it would look good. It would look good in the mirror. And she was so right. It's so cute. I, I even think maybe it's just winter. Maybe we should just leave it. <laughs> All right, Nessa, let's go. Let's get back to our real life. Come on. Not on the couch. Okay, how'd it go? Peace. Peace, learn how to color. <laughs> Are you with your best friend? Uh huh. <laughs> how's that lunch, Noel? Good. Eli, how's the book? Piano lessons going okay? Did you have yours? Oh, you didn't. I could have taken you. <laughs> Did you do yours yet? No. I'm going last. I could have taken you too. <laughs> yeah, just me and Eli both didn't go. When you walked in, I was like, I could have gone with mom. Yeah. <laughs> Belle's off to work. I'm not. <laughs> training I'm soon. I'm making a sandwich. Oh, okay. But then you're going to training at your new job as a hostess at a restaurant. Yeah. So Let's fun. not say what restaurant. <laughs> I don't want anyone to come in and be like, oh. You don't want to be recognized at your place of employment? <laughs> Preferably, no. What are you up to? Espanol. In basketball practice tonight? <laughs> Peace, can you say goodbye? Say bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Are you going to do it? Not on command. Nope, sorry, not today. <laughs>